Welcome to the T5 training video series where it's all about learning the best practice behind deploying Yellowfin and its corresponding concepts and ideas that come along with it. This video covers lesson one which is all about capacity and hardware planning. So we'll be talking about the sizing and what system requirements go into supporting an application deployment, um, what are the factors and requirements that, that come along with it, and also we'll explore the ideas behind the administration and performance of Yellowfin as an application. Uh, we'll discover, or at least tell you the overview behind the architecture around the application itself, what data source pooling means, um, how does memory usage come into play, and also investigate around content factors as well in the next section. So we'll go through what are the things within the application itself that uses resources and affects performance, and we'll end with the background tasks as the last section. So firstly, sizing and hardware planning. The first thing that you sort of need to think about uh, when you install Yellowfin is that the hardware requirements of the Yellowfin application and the corresponding database servers, uh, they change depending on the size and the purpose of the deployment. It is initially like a how long is a piece of string question, uh, so it's a pretty, pretty uh, difficult question to answer. But it is entirely possible to deploy Yellowfin on a single machine um, if your purpose is to perform solution demonstrations or to develop small proof of concepts. Now, naturally, the single machine model would have to be a bit more powerful as you move towards production size uh, enterprise deployments, or you might even have a need to cluster Yellowfin into separate servers as well. So we'll, we'll talk a bit more about what clustering is and how to do that in the, uh, the next lesson. But in this one, we're going to start to talk about the, the general ideas around um, what hardware planning and sizing means. And it is actually recommended as a note that you should actually conduct your own benchmarking uh, as an initial phase of your deployment to better understand what the hardware requirements for your particular project are. But essentially, as a general rule of thumb, for recommended minimum requirements, uh, we have a general rule that we follow where every 25 concurrent users, we do ask the clients to allow for two processors and four gigs of RAM. So in case you're wondering what concurrent users mean, concurrency is basically a concept where the user is logged in at a particular point in time and actually doing something. Uh, a name user is an account that uh, allows the user to potentially log into Yellowfin, but not but might not be actually doing any work at that point in time. So for example, I could have a, uh, a thousand user, name user deployment, but my concurrency could actually be 100 users. So it means at any point in time of the day, I would only have 100 users logging into Yellowfin and then doing analytics on that deployment. So by general rule of thumb, usually for nearly all deployments out there, we've got a concurrency of about 10%. Right, so for a thousand name user deployment, you would usually end up with a hundred users who are concurrent users. So this minimum requirements table over here that you see is basically the best practice for concurrent users. And you can see as the number of concurrent users increase, you can see the CPU and the RAM requirements increase as well. Um, we've done testing internally based on a moderate usage scenario where we've got uh, you know, a whole bunch of users logging in uh, with this particular size, and they're all doing something different. So it could be viewing a report, it could be trying to create a chart, viewing some dashboards, logging out, going to a timeline, you know, using basically nearly every feature within Yellowfin, and the requirements that we've come out with are basically uh, these values, okay? So do try to refer to this uh, as a, a rough guide as to how you, you need to um, build your hardware requirements for your Yelpin instance. Now, there are also a few different things that you need to estimate in terms of capacity requirements. So there are actually three main system requirements that should be es estimated, and uh, the three are basically the processing power, the system memory, and the hard disk space. So the, the reason why we've listed them in such an order as well, which actually is significant because processing power is uh, you know, generally the most critical resource as it is actually the most expensive as well. So this, this step over here involves determining the number of physical computer servers, the speed, the bit size, the number of CPUs, 
whereas the system memory area is um, you know, covering the RAM for a server. Now, the requirements here can technically influence the choice of operating system as well, um, and in turn the processing power decision. Because, for example, any application process running on a 32-bit Windows platform can approximately only use about 3 gigabytes of system memory, whereas a 64-bit Windows, Unix, or Linux operating system can technically support a theoretical 18 exabyte you know, address space for application use. So if you're thinking of really souping up a particular machine to really take advantage of the memory architecture in a 64-bit architecture, then there might be a few options for you in terms of using you know, a particular operating system as well. The last point, which is the hard disk space, is the last because in terms of computing resources, the hard disk requirements are essentially the cheapest of all three types over here and also the least critical as well. So one of the key takeaways is while you're thinking about these three points in terms of estimating capacity, a key takeaway is also to include a consideration of the main activities that your users will undertake. So essentially your concurrent users, you know, what will they be actually be doing when they log into Yellowfin um, and you know, use or perform analytics? And all these things will be factors for your exercise over here. Okay? So now that we've thought about processing power, we've thought about system memory and thought about hard disk space, what are the actual additional factors that play around or affect these three system requirements? And they are mainly centered upon four points, which are users, reports, interactivity, and administration. Users, as you know, they're pretty self-explanatory. They are concurrent users, so these are the people who use the system. The reports cover content within um, Yellowfin, so this could cover Tableau reports, to charts, to GIS and geospatial maps, to uh, storyboards, and all that good stuff in analytics. So depending on what are the content uh, consumed in the application, that could affect how much of the system requirements that we discussed before that's actually needed to support these activities. And actually the interactivity with content and the application itself, and also the maintenance and administration of the application. So we do have a table over here that gives you a very quick rundown of what are the activities that are usually happening within the Yelp deployment and into which of the system requirements that we talked about before, you know, like in which part do they have a, a bit of an influence and then where do they play into. So for example, if I'm browsing and creating reports, um, you know, I know that I will be interacting with the, the processor and be using some memory along the way. Whereas if I'm actually uh, caching reports to actually have some sort of report history, then I know that's going to affect my disk space over here. So this, this table here gives a very rough guide as to what are the, the three things you need to think about in terms of activity. 